Now, your Big Two Sports. Hey, everyone. I'm Aaron Reynolds alongside our Game of the Week reporter, Jake Eichstead. And we are live in Balmoray. Aaron, this is going to be a great game tonight. We have two number one ranked teams going at it. The Balmoray Bears are hosting the Rankin Red Devils tonight. This is the first game of the year. Let's dive right into this away team's matchup. Let's take a look at the visiting team. The Red Devils enter this year with a number one preseason ranking in Division Two. And while they do have a new quarterback, they still have a lot of returners on the field. Yeah, Jake Sr., TJ Templeton will be taking over as QB1 for the Red Devils. Now, he stepped in a few times at that position before and has been a starter for rank in the last few years. He definitely has that experience. Now, speaking of this matchup, the last time these two faced each other was when Rankin upset Balmeray in the district championship. We're really excited. Anytime we play Balmeray with Coach Jones over there and those kids after our district um, championship last year, you know, we know they're going to be fired up and ready. And so, you know, we expect a dogfight, but we're excited for the challenge. Mm -hmm. And they're adjusting to a new district after moving down a division in realignment from this past spring. But if anybody's going to have their team ready after realigning, it's Coach Jones for sure. <laughs> the last two times they've been in Division Two, they made it to the state championship. But Aaron, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we'll take a look at the Bears right now. So they returned some important players this season. 21 players are back for Balmeray. They only graduated five players after last season. One of those players that is back is preseason All-State running back Lane Carrasco. So you can expect the Bears to run the ball quite a bit this season. They're a very close-knit group of seniors and there's 12 of them and then six man that's a lot of seniors to have on your team and they're all good athletes you know so they really have high expectations and just like we all do and uh, uh, they're working to fulfill those expectations. No doubt, Aaron, these Bears are going to be hungry tonight for a win after their matchup last year as well. And also, both teams, like I said, coming in is preseason ranked number one. Absolutely, and this game is set to kick off at 7.30 p.m., so in a little more than an hour here. Now, Balmeray ISD has said that they have to limit their capacity to 50% due to COVID-19, like all of the other stadiums here in the state of Texas. So that's about 330 seats. So if you're coming to this game, I would plan on getting here early. There's already people filtering in into the stadium. But if there isn't any seating left in the stadium, Balmeray ISD has said that fans can bring their own lawn chairs and they can sit outside the fence to watch the game. I guess wherever you can find the shade, I think that's important. Yes. <laughs> and I will be at this game the entire night. This is, of course, our game of the week. You can follow me on Twitter. That's Jake25EICH. I will be live tweeting the results from this game as we get them. And then, of course, tune into the final score tonight on Big Two, 1030. You can see the highlights from all over the basin. A lot of good games going on tonight in uh, the visit. Yeah. Yes, and Jake will have a post-game interview with the winner here, so you'll definitely want to tune in for that. And like he mentioned, stay up to date on our Big Two Sports Twitter account and our Big Two Facebook account because we will have live updates from games all over the basin this evening. Final score starts at 10.30, our first one of the year, and we are so excited. So we hope you, you join us. For Jake said, I'm Aaron Reynolds, Big Two Sports.